for software engineers it's a very gloomy road like people will be like oh my god software engineering oh my god i'm gonna make all this money huh make the arrow hold your neck see ya if you break out in this thing i'll say ah it's in me family Recently featured in the Daily Graphic, Nana Kuyuko represents the new generation of tech leaders transforming ideas into impact. Presto is bridging technology, innovation and community, proving that the next big thing in tech can start right here at home. How did the idea of Presto start? When I was in AIS, right, I was supposed to create a, for my final year project, as a visual student, and I was supposed to create a business, right, so you design a business and you design cards for your business, profile for your business and things, and I called it SEP Ghana. Then when I got into uni, right, I was working for a lot of different people and I was like, ah, bro, I can't create like stuff on my own. So I tried to register my business. I registered with ASAP Ghana. I said, someone has already taken it. And I was wearing a pair of Nike Prestos and I was like, ah, how about Presto? And the guy was like, okay, you take it. He was like, yeah, it's good. And I was like, ah, let's do it. So that's basically how Presto started. I actually wanted to get in the payment space and that's why I started the business. Because when you apply, I tried to do partnerships with um, XPSP and paystack and some other people and i needed like a business certificate to do the integrations so that's kind of how person started it started off as payments that's interesting yeah. what is the most difficult part of this work i mean as a founder like you do most of the work yourself it's very tedious because there's no work-life balance per se there's always telling something's happening this is poor this is broken this 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 if i work on this if I, and i'm spreading it i think work-life balance is the hardest one what is the most difficult problem you have ever faced in this journey it's work and emotions off the top of my mind the hardest point of this whole thing was when i broke up after work but my chest no degree so yeah i think the hardest part is emotions it's balancing emotions and logic what keeps you up at night hmm. that's a good one bills bro bills man for think about things like bills rent so now nah, i get people with you rely on me for their my day to day salaries and things it's not for the week but go up it. what's your favorite part about having a startup but the river, I think it's the wins when like you know how much effort you put into this thing and then now all of a sudden boom you can see results. Nothing beats not even a jet to holiday, bro. Nothing beats that. What's one myth about startups you want to clear up? That they have money. Bro, they are all struggling. Bro. Let me tell you something. The people that you see that they are packaging and selling for you, then they struggle. Bro. They don't gain anything, my guy. They don't like so oh, they will open up a startup and we're gonna like do money and say, ah! And come and do it, boom, do it. If you feel hungry to some side, then it'd be normal. Like, if you get through every day, you haven't ever seen me get food before, bro. And the feet dance. So, on the topic of no balance and all, how do you keep your scene, like when it comes to mental health and all? I like to have conversations, I like to have fun, bro. Me, I'm a happy, good, like, it doesn't go by now. I don't play this work too. But, like, if you be shallow, you be good, shallow, you be good, do what make it be. On work life balance, how do you balance work as a startup founder? with your social life how do you don't balance work <laughs> you don't do that shit nah, 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 nah. you work when i'm tired then you go in salary then you come at him work because the truth of the matter is the sad part about things like this is nobody will do the work for you like me like a lot of people have been screaming about oh no 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 i sometimes i put some video i spoke about how we are doing 50 cds for bug testing right one guy come he said charlie and in the video you could see that i was tired my voice was Greeny, like my eye bags were drawn. When the guy can write for one, I see Charlie for relax. Now you cry also. I read the message, I say, ah, ah of the for us now we again. Bro, like the job there you for do the job, bro. You know do the job they go by you. What do you look for in new employees? I promise you, I thought you're going to see women. This thing's very controversial. So we tried to hire last week. We all flopped. I read a book, it's called Zero to One. And Zero to One states that look, it's not about the skills, it's, it's about who is with you when the bus changes direction. And the truth is, it's the vibe and the energy you bring. If you give excuses, I can't work with you. If you're always complaining, I can't work with you. I like people who are up energy. If I say tomorrow we they go mass, I don't know how we they do, but we they go find spacesuits, bro. You go find spacesuits. But people wait and they go think, go. Oh. Then, oh yes, I'll sit down at nine. Structure? No, nah, we don't have structure here, bro. Like, look at. Look, I'm coming to work, I'm wearing the bandana, I'm wearing t-shirt, I'm wearing... I don't even know what these things are called. I'm not your conventional oh, 95 boss. Me, I did code for throttle inside before, bro. I did, did the window seats for the left, I did the window seats for the back. I'll be the back and the phone and then fire the API, come down, fire, give them again, I give a response, bro. So then this way, tell you, oh my God, I have certificates, I have this whole structure, I'll come to work at 9 and close at 5. No, no, we don't do that here. What's your best interview tip? 
be unapologetically yourself everybody will have a problem with something you do if you dress in, in we eat and you show it for people two people say it's not good two people say it's good you change your dressing people say like be yourself and do what genuinely works for you and try to enjoy it Ali. for social engineers it's a very gloomy road people will be like oh my god stop engineering oh my god i'm gonna make all this money huh make the arrow hold your neck see ya <laughs> you can't com- like you you complain and then no bro you go sit down you go solve up the reason why i wear this bandana is because i tear my hair i do a lot of like logic what is one productivity hack you swear by solitude plan to be alone let me by yourself bro if people they cool if people know they that's fine how do you approach leadership my people are my family if you pay very close attention jesus is my brother christo is my sister jesus is my project man Ade Ali has literally become family and Ade has he has a very good sense his sense of humor is top like bro we can be in trouble and Ade will just start laughing and i start laughing. love that guy to death to me it's family and i know how people can be like oh you have to be strict and things bro i work with people that think for themselves do you understand if you are making a decision and you think it's a stupid decision and you cannot rectify it yourself that's on you at the end of the day i know when i need you and know when i don't need you my ethos for leadership is basically no matter the situation get the work done i try and have as much fun as possible bro that's your rhyme what is one thing you wish you knew more of before starting like your first or not how to dance like i keep saying this thing people think i'm joking like how to dance bro like so the crazy thing is i was really good at dancing when i was in shs right? but i started doing logical stuff like mathematics started learning history and things so i never did get time dancing on tiktok you go cash out i used to listen to bike out what is an underrated trait in a founder charisma a lot of people think that they can go far without it well some people can but like i was reading on steve jobs there last time it was a book written by some other guy i forgot the guy's name I heard it from another podcast and the guy was like, look, when Steve Jobs stepped down, he stepped down for 12 years, mm-hmm. I think. There was another guy that he put some jail guy or jail guy and the guy didn't have enough charisma like Steve did, right. right? And you could see it in the output in comparison to when Steve came back on and Steve was handling. I think one of the other, like, if you find a founder that has charisma, that's a business that's going to win. Once again, it's my POV. It's my POV. What's one quote or life lesson you live by? If you want to start running at 12 a.m., don't go and look for people to run with you. Start running the people. Come. What's your biggest learning experience? Mm, one of the biggest lessons. Ah! It's who you know. So you know. I promise you. This act. I don't even think it's a crime. I think it's a general thing. It's who you know. You can't lie yourself say, oh my god, I've taken the boot camp, I've taken the course, I know how to do it, I can build a system. Bro, you go build that, you will get two users. You answer your mother. That one said they would be complaining, say, ah, me yeah, yeah, me yeah, yeah. Bro, it's who you know. How do you define success? It's different for everybody. Me, my own BC, house people be cool. Jesus be cool. We be cool. They be cool. Everybody be cool. Me, that's a big win for me. Everybody where they rely on me be cool. But like I have that, I'm the first born, so I have that mentality. Also, no, no, no. Sorry. I won't mind, you know, a nice house. <laughs> and a couple of cars. And I, I wouldn't mind. What does a typical day in your life look like? So as a senior engineer, I don't work during the day. I have meetings during the day. And I work when the world is asleep. Yesterday like this. I woke up at 10. We had to go to Central 11, right? Had meetings throughout the day. On our way back, we passed by Vidai and I got a cup of coffee. Welcome there. I had one last meeting here with my intent. Then he left around 11 and I had to wake. I can wake for four hours. So I wake to like 2 30. We now I go to sleep. So, yeah, it's basically meetings during the day and then wake when everyone else is asleep. What is your favorite time of the day to wake? It depends on what exactly I'm working on. So I think 6 to 10 is a good time for me. On another spectrum, right? How has social media played in this whole stuff? Bro! Yeah. Hey, you know how much money I'm making for? I don't make anything. No. I didn't lose money pass. Hey, they take the people. Oh, yeah, I'll come. Oh, yeah. People will come to you plus all sorts of. Oh, Tani. Maybe I'm the problem. This place, as I study rental offices, you know how much I make? 190. 196, bro. Around this place, like most years, bro. 196. It's supposed to be 200, so that can be saying you get 10 and I go sell 90 CD. God damn it, man. God damn it. Hey, Tali. Bro, you know the ground. You know the, bro, they go come from food. You say, oh, 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 all the lies. They're all lies. I beg if you the words. Come bring job, man. Come, can they press no, let me tell you something. Press no increase a safe place for engineers. You can engineer, I'm working on something. Just come and spend a day here with like-minded people. Just come. Just come. Make a chop your money. Car. Money good run. Just come, bro. Just come. <sighs> what is your idea of a perfect date? Oh, I'm so happy you've asked me this question. You see, now you're making me comfortable. <laughs> I like it. 
To me, a perfect date is. I had one recently. It was junk food. She came to my office. It was impromptu. She comes to my office. She comes. She say hi. Then my attendee, I suck her from the office. Turn and say, tally, 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 make it go out. So I did it. Baby girl comes. She say, hey, I'm here. I say, okay, come, I'm coming out. Right, I'm on easy day, easy day. The office, oh, oh. I mean, she can't, she can't sit down, be that little. And we had like a good rapport, like an IQ on my IQ. And then she was like, she wants to get, get food. I said, oh, join prayer, I'll do the work for you, baby. So yeah, I was like, okay, let's go. I take Jesus in car. We went to get Jolo fries. She said she wanted loaded fries. We did drive, me the and the talk, bro. We did laugh, we did recap on like old things that happened in life. Honestly, for the car, we are packed for the parking lot. We just had a good conversation and we got it. Best four hours of the whole week for me. I think it's the person. It's not really the place or the situation as a person. Like, if me and somebody just, somebody we are the job with the click with, we just be inside it. Even if we are locked in a silo and we are compatible. What are three things you can't live without? My Mac, my iPhone, my AirPods. If I have these three things, give me a lever, I'll move the world. What song do you listen to on repeat? So the truth is, I like, I listen to a lot of songs. I listen to a lot, of, I jam a lot. I don't have a specific song. But the song that's playing in my head right now is Escaladiz. I listen to that every morning. What's one thing people don't know about you? I like rice and pork. What is the most adventurous thing you've ever done? Building this company, bro. <laughs> like, I've done a lot of stupid things in my life. But, like, adventurous, kindly, eh? Everywhere is dark. I'm just walking. And the more you walk, the clearer the road becomes. How will you define yourself in two words? Freaking amazing. <laughs> I don't know. Two words is crazy. How do you ensure you are constantly growing? I'm not picky. I throw myself into new experiences all the time. What is next for you in this journey with Presto? We've done fintech. Fintech was good. We made some good money. I think next steps is AI. So we recently launched an application called Q. Now what Q does is an AI assistant that handles your finances for you. The problem was that I used to use this app called Money Manager. Right? Money Manager, you have to come and log your transactions in yourself. Right? But we live in a fast space world where everything is normal. So what we've done is we've, we've integrated Presto Pay with a ledger system. So when you want to make a transaction, you see, oh, send X amount of money to person Y for, then you add a reference. We'll send the money for you. And then you can now ask it, what have I been spending my money on the most? How much money do I have left to play? If I wanted to see, like you can have a conversation with your finances. The biggest problem I faced was here. Coming here was expenses, bro. Bro, I said one day, I feel pay, I feel pay, son. Then I just vex. I, I vex, finish. You posted the pass me bill. Bro, if you pass me bill, son, I said, oh, you want to see my boy. Some advice I got recently was that, hey, look. It was very simple. She said, track your expenses, bro. Just track your money. So that's what Q is. I use Q personally, but I want to make it public. And the crazy thing about my solutions are these are things that I use. Best of all, is something I use. Take it is something I use. Pay is something I use. I use pay every single day. That leads me to an interesting question. What emerging technologies are you like currently interested and then excited to use? Okay, so a lot of people don't know this, but actually, I'm actually an intern somewhere and I'm slowly learning new skills, right? It's a Web3 startup, which is really interesting because I don't know Jack Shelley about it. I, I can't understand it. Like, it doesn't make any logical sense to me. That's one of the things. I'm hopeful that by the end of like the internship at the period, I should be able to understand and integrate those things. So, yeah, so Web3 is one. Bro, let me tell you a really crazy story. I went for a meeting. We had four people, four different businesses came around. And then there was one guy that was introducing everybody else. And he was like, oh, eh, we have... Then he mentioned the people and what they do. And then he said, we also have content creators. Bro, I was disrespected. Like, I'd never, ever felt disrespected like that before in my life. I side-eyed a guy. where I realized, you oh, know, this is not a place. Where I, I just chased him. Because, I mean, it's true. But, bro, I'm an engineer. What are some new things you are working on currently oh so q charlie q is my baby oh q by end of this week i was supposed to launch it last week but it rained last question what's the meaning of q q is literally q so q started off as a learning application so what we did was we had a partnership with the cleaner right so when i go to the cleaner i will queue the transaction like oh i did owe you so we clean up, tell the cleaner, say, oh, Charlie, I and we had, like, we know each other, and they trust me, and I trust them, so we have a relationship. So, oh, if I come fresh, 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 I go buy to 30 CDs, then I log them, say, oh, 30 CDs, then I go log them, 40 CDs, then the queue go add all the money, then I'll pay. So, queue was literally a list of transactions that I needed to pay. You buy, uh -huh. and then queue was like, oh, like, it's a, it's a hard ass AI yeah. name, like, yeah. and I, you know, queue the music chain. No. Ah, bro, listen to queue, bro, queue, I'll send you some songs, bro. Yeah.
just don't you think, think. I be so bold myself when you come and fuck me. I feel so ordinary, said when you won't round me. Treat me like all the white, baby, I'm.